Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. I welcome you once again to this special news. Thank you for liking our videos. Thank you for liking our contents. Thank you for appreciating us. Thank you for supporting us. We really appreciate you massively. Thank you for also dropping by the comment section to leave your thoughts. Kindly keep them coming. They're interesting and we appreciate them. May I quickly create the indulgence to subscribe to this channel? Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. All right, straight to the news. Igbo land will be, will be Waterloo for headsman, says Emmanuel Inwayao, as he backs South, South, South East to respond to this. Top political brass in Nigeria and PDP Board of Trustee member, Chief Emmanuel Inwayao, on Tuesday, in Oweri, commended the activities of the Southeast Response Team, stating that killer headsmen will meet their Waterloo in Igbo land if their intention was to fight and overpower the people of the Southeast. Chief Iwanyawu was excited and endorsed the group for the National Coordinator, Comrade Aku Obidemma who had briefed him on their journey so far, which includes adoption of legitimate and organized response to external intimidation against the people of the Southeast. Iwanya who pledged to give the group maximum support at all times, stating that issues of insecurity in Nigeria and how it may affect the people of the Southeast has been on the table particularly on the intrusion of northern youths and headsmen killers. According to him, the issue of insecurity has been summarily dealt with during a private conference, during a private conference meeting with Igbos across the globe with a view to shock Igbo aggressors. Headsmen are causing problems. The senators are not condemning them. It is a thing of surprise. We are monitoring them and their activities nationwide. Iboland will be a waterloo for headsmen if they don't want to learn from the past experience. Then Iboland will surprise them. He thanked the group for their courtesy call, stating that they deserved to be received by him. Adding that Igbos who were, who were at the war front line as in Tanzania, Congo, United Nations Peacekeeping Forces, and engaged the rest of Nigeria for three years during the Biafra Nigeria Civil War cannot take back the seat in the Nigerians' project. Things have not been well in Nigeria and will never be until the right things are done. You have a genuine aspirations in the interest of Igbo, and for this, you have my support. You are doing the right thing. Men of courage like you cannot be forgotten, and you should count on my support. We have not shifted our ground on the restructuring of Nigeria, and that is the only way out of Nigerians' numerous difficulties. As the chairman of Igbo Council of Elders, we discuss and have noted the threat against Igbo existence. The problem of Nigeria is not IPOB or MASOB or any other pro Biafra groups. The real enemies of Nigeria is the BH guys. The real enemies of Nigeria is the BH guys and other forms of insurgency in the northern Nigeria and those who don't want it to come to an end. They should bear in mind that the Igbo was never defeated during the Biafra Nigeria Civil War. It was the Dr. Namdi Azikwe's quick intervention and series of negotiations that played down the war temple because we have a lot of respect for our elders. So, nobody should take the Igbos for granted. The national coordinator of the Southeast Response Team, 
Aku Obidima had earlier told Chief Iwanyawu about its efforts to ensure that President Muhammad Buhari could go back and revise himself on the federal government $22.7 billion loan, Naira loan, which he, the president, excluded the Southeast from. According to the coordinator, the group has written a protest letter to President Muhammad Buhari and to the Nigerian creditors with a view to stopping the loan from being granted unless Buhari includes the Southeast as one of the major beneficiaries and equal players in the Nigerian project. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? The issue on ground is becoming tense and is uh, actually um, gaining uh, attention from all over the world, if you ask. Now, uh, Chief Imwayao, you know, has come out to say that um, headsmen would meet their Waterloo in Igbo land if they continue in the killings. Oh, so, well, it's what it is, guys. It's sad and unfortunate that uh, the issue of the headsmen crisis is still a thing that uh, we are battling with in this part of the world or in this country, even at this particular point in time. Despite the huge sum of money that has been invested in the issue of security and despite uh, the fact that this should not have been an issue even in the first place. Well, it remains to be seen how uh, things would go and what the challenges would result to. But be that as it were, the Southeasterners are now uh, prepared and taking up responsibility to defend themselves against any attack from the Fulani headsmen and any other form of attack that may come their ways. Well, since the president cannot effectively protect the general masses and the citizens of the country, it is sad that uh, people are now resorting to self-help to actually um, protect themselves. Well, let's take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying. Oshimola Chris says, My problem with these people's so-called Igbo are not complete. You people talk too much. They will continue to be killing you people and you will continue to condemn them. If you try to retaliate, the police will arrest you, people. This is the very time. This is the time everybody should wake up. Okay, guys, do you agree with his opinion? Well, it's what it is. Emmanuel Madhuabuchi says, action is what we need. Okay? Not quite long, somebody commented on Islamization and Fulanization agenda. Some said he was playing modern music. Here and now, what have we? All men are born equal, but some are greater than others. Good day. E.K. Sky says, hmm, the dump are talking. Seems he is getting broke. Okay, I guess he might be referring to Chief Emmanuel Iwanyao. Well, another person says, it's now that I'm happy. If elders talk, youths will jubilate, then actions will be followed. Igbos are warriors. Igbo, Equizulo, Equizola. Thank God, Ben says, I'm delighted to hear this. Please ensure that the Muhammad Buhari administration restructures this country before he steps down. Well, will it happen? It remains to be seen if this will definitely happen. Toby Okafor says, Waterloo or Rubicon, what we need is action. Udo Chuku Enox says, yes, I support this. Let's match our actions. Let's match our words with actions. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? It is sad and unfortunate that uh, we are in a situation whereby issues like these are coming up when they ought not to be coming up. How do you expect the whole uh, citizen of the country to feel if the, a particular region of the country continues to attack other regions, you know, without uh, anybody questioning them, without necessary actions being taken, without anybody actually um, watching them. It is really, really uh, sad and unfortunate. But be that as it were, I think we should uh, keep our fingers crossed and watch how things unfold and play out 
anytime soon well drop out the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now